We expect it to be over 20,000 people altogether, that's our estimate, right. uh, and it's going extremely well. Um, we started at half past four this morning, mm -hmm. getting all the fences up. The artists came along at eight, and the public from ten, and uh, it's, it's really good. We're very pleased with the range of art that we've got this year as well. It's uh, uh, very varied. Photography, ceramics, painting, sculpture, photography. It's Everything. Good. Yeah, yeah. Have you got more stands than you've ever had? It looks as if um, No, it's about the same as last year because we're actually keeping it to that level. Um, but we've probably got more artists because they're sharing stands. So we've got about 110 artists, um, mostly from uh, Suffolk and East Anglia, mm -hmm. but some from um, Birmingham and London. Um, so we do spread a bit further afield. How long has the, the event been going now? This is its 10th year. Wow. So we're celebrating that. We had the mayor to open it and the mm -hmm. cake uh, to celebrate it. Big achievement. Yeah. And in the gardens, we've got six workshops that people can go and have a go at doing art themselves. And the display of the work that we did previously in turn with schools. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. So where do these pictures come from? Because they're really unusual and interesting and individualistic, aren't they? Yeah, they are, I think I get a sort of poach most of the ideas. I've got this sort of monster character that I stole from like Monsters Inc. and maybe where the wild things are. I've got sort of extended noses, maybe going to Pinocchio, sort of linking to maybe sort of childhood and children's books. Right. Your wife is a blonde lady. She obviously features in your work. Uh, just coincidence. I don't, I don't think so. I think that's a bit sus suspect, really. I think your pictures are outstanding and interesting. Excellent, thank you. Have thank you sold you. anything today? Glad you like them. I, I sold a little triptych at the moment of uh, small little paintings that I've done. Have you done this before, this show? I haven't done this show before, no. It's my first time. We I'm wish you well. I'm glad the weather's, yeah. weather's holding out. We wish you well. Excellent, thank you. No grazed knees then? Nothing. I don't know. There's a bit of alert down there, isn't it? You do all that training and then you come along here and there's nothing for you to do, really. Well, it, we need it in case it can, it can change, let's put it that way. Basically, all these projects are being um, imprinted and, and made in UK, uh, and they're part of a um, 
have a brand which is called Maison Franglais, which is my own uh, make, which is basically a baby gift and also handmade print on the other side. So you're you're an original artist as well then? Yes, I'm afraid. That's no, good. <laughs> I've no started, it's, uh, I had a bit of a, I started in fashion design and then I went to costume design, so I worked for film and theatre for about five years. Right. Does your business work? Does it make a living for you? Well, for the moment, I've, um, because I'm all, I'm, I'm still a full-time mum, so I think until uh, she's only 21 months old, so I think until she's about three years, it will never be a full-time work. So it's a gentle way for me to uh, to work my uh, my way up. But um, I do framing as well, which is quite good. So a lot of different stuff, really. But do different things, yes. more interesting. Yes, you need to keep your brain ticking. When you look at this event, I mean, you can see this one now running and running, can't yeah. you? Because it has, it's got a definite sort of, it's got an image, hasn't it? Absolutely. A definite sort of presence. People look forward to it year on year, don't ten, they? Ten and, uh, years this year. I've been talking ten, to some no. of the storeholders and uh, they say, oh yes, we're coming next year. Well, you know, they obviously book it in year after year. And there's storeholders who have been coming virtually from the, for the whole time. Yes, absolutely. One gentleman was telling me he was here for the first one and they had about 35 stalls for the first one and then it's grown like that. Cool. The carnival was, was really big this year, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We had 15 large trailers in the, in the procession, apart mm -hmm. from the, the usual twirlies, you know, and yep. the uh, smaller um, exhibits or entrances. Um, the big lorries were provided by Gold Star, which we're very grateful to because they uh, didn't charge us anything for them. So, and uh, and all, their, all their drivers throw their time in, I yeah. gather, as well? Yeah, they did. So that's yeah. quite a big effort from Incredible. a commercial company. Incredible, yes. We were very grateful to them. And the organisers have done a damn good job, I think. Yeah, well, I'm a treasurer of the carnival as well. Oh, so. excellent. <laughs> so I've had a foot in both camps. What's the view from your point of view on looking at bringing the carnival kind of park event into the seafront next year? It has, it has its advantages uh -huh. um, and it also has its disadvantages. Uh -huh. um, I think the advantages probably outweigh the disadvantages yeah. insofar as um, we know we won't have the, the revenue from the bar for a start, which is quite a lot of revenue. Um, and, but the, the money will go to the businesses along the front, which yep. probably need it just as much. And uh, I think learning from Wings on Waves, when we had all the stalls along the front and it didn't cost us very much at all, um, it, could ha it could work just the same. We would still have the fair. It would probably go on Pier Bight if we're lucky, where it goes, you know, for bank holidays. The fun fair. Yes. Could he? I mean, the sign is light to say.